guys, I have an extra vlog for you today. It is Monday, however, in British Columbia it is family day, so it's a holiday. No work, no school, it's a holiday, yay! Um, we have it a week earlier than pretty much the rest of Canada, um, but that sounds good. So I'm starting my morning off with a run. I didn't do my three mile long run last week because of just all the snow. So I was like, Monday morning, I have to get started with that. So I'm gonna do the first two miles on my own and then I'm gonna swing home and pick up Tripsy to do about 0.6 miles because she's a better runner and then swing home and pick up and change it up and get Chloe and do the 0.4 and then Dan will walk Molly in the meantime. So that's the plan. I ended up going like one point, I don't know, 1.4 miles myself. And then I went about 1.2 miles of trip trip. So then with Chloe, there was only like 0.4 to go. So we did that, but then, yeah, she's not as good as running as Tripsy is because Tripsy like will stop to pee if she has to, but for the most part, she just goes like she wants to run. Whereas Chloe wants to sniff everything and go all over the place and yeah. See when we walk, this is fine if she needs to go back. Come on, Chloe. No, don't eat whatever that is, Chloe. But of course, if we're running, no. And then she just stops in her tracks. That's not good. Come on, you. Oh. Now I get to have a nice relaxing bath. Uh, but it's funny. I well, I think it's like I use Runkeeper to um, keep track of my distance. And I think it was two updates ago, but maybe it was more. I just hadn't read <laughs> prior. Um, instead of just the same voice, like to call out your intervals or whatever you set it to. Um, you can choose. So last one I had Mademoiselle, the French lady, and she's like, she's like, one mile, ooh la la, think of all the croissants you can eat. And it's so much fun. So then this time I chose Boston, Boston fan or just Boston guy. And he's like, you're doing good, kid. What about them apples? Oh wait, no one likes apples. And we're just in the Boston accent, which I can't do. Anyway, so it's actually pretty funny. So I'm like, keep running so I get to hear like the next interval of what they're gonna say, so. Yeah. Anyway, so now I'm going to have a bath and Dan's going to walk Molly so she also go out on a special one-on-one -on -one outing. We've started the laundry um, and now we're just having some lunch and then we're going to go and return my mom's car to her but we're probably going to do a couple more errands while we still have a car um, and then we'll bus back home. But yeah, for lunch we're just having leftovers from <laughs> Original Joe's yesterday. We're returning library books, um, then we're gonna quickly go to the mall because Dan wants to pick up something for Valentine's Day. And then I'm also going to, um, I don't need anything, oh, we may if we need any more groceries, but yes, we're gonna do everything we can when we sell the car. Now we're waiting at the bus stop. We just missed one by like two minutes. Um, so then we decided to go the other way. Um, and yeah, still, still two buses, or just two different buses, but that's fine too, so. Now we just wait. We only have about 10 more minutes to wait, so that's good. <laughs> Home now, and a little cuddling with Trip Trip. And the other dogs are over there. So now I have to finally start making my dessert for Valentine's Day, although I think we're gonna, if it works out, we're gonna sample it today so I can show you how it looks, but yeah, hopefully it works out. And then we'll save the rest of it for tomorrow. First, I have just like a chocolate mix um, of just some flour, uh, egg white, a butter, and sugar. And I'm just gonna do the decoration that's gonna go on the outside of the cake. Now I've never done this before, but I've seen it done on the baking channel, or the cooking channel, I mean, Food Network, lots of times. So, so I'm hoping that I can also do this. Oh no! Okay, that's okay. So once I have this whole sheet done, and I just printed out like a heart, template on the bottom to make that they're all lined up. Um, then I'm going to put this in the freezer for about 15 minutes just so it hardens and then I'm going to make my cake batter. So then when I do put the other cake batter like on top, it's obviously right now we're just all mushed together. So I'm going to, once they're frozen, then 
it'll stay the shape. So now making the center cake, um, just using like a basic cake recipe with vanilla cake, flour, sugar, um, eggs, butter, vanilla, and I'm just going to mix it together and then I'm going to color it with red. So I have a lot of air bubbles, so I'm just gonna tap it. But I used a lot of food coloring to try to get it to this pink color. Um, it was just going really pale, so I hope that the added liquid doesn't ruin it. But I'm gonna bake this, and this is what I'm gonna cut the hearts out of. So at 350 for about 15 minutes. Now comes the tricky part. We have our baking sheet, which these are all hard. And I'm gonna pour this on it and have to work as fast as possible to cover it completely. That's gonna cool just a couple more minutes in the pan and then I'm gonna put it on a baking rack to completely cool before I cut out my hearts. And this is gonna go in the oven now, same temperature, 350, um, just for about eight minutes because we don't want this to get brown or cracked or anything. Now comes the moment of truth. So then I have a towel lined with a little bit of powdered sugar. So then we're gonna put it on this side down and then invert it again. Oh, I should have sprayed that. That's okay. And then we want it to do as it's gonna cool to get hold its shape. So we're gonna roll it. Now it doesn't have to be a tight roll, it just has to be in one roll, so that's not that bad then. We just want it to cool with the shape so it doesn't break or split. There we go. <sighs> Alright, now we're going to make some of the frosting because that is, has to cool and stuff too. I am heating it. <laughs> so for my icing, I didn't want to do the recipe that I'm following um, called for like a cream cheese icing, but I don't eat cream cheese. So, and I didn't want to do buttercream, like pure buttercream, American buttercream, because that's awfully heavy. Um, so I decided to find, I found this other version. It's like a fluffy, lighter buttercream. Um, so I'm mixing, I have water and flour in here that I'm mixing on the heat. And then I take it off, I let it cool completely, and then I add in vanilla, and then some butter, and then granulated sugar. Um, and then just have to whip it for about five minutes, or beat it for five minutes. Um, and then it should be nice and fluffy, and it has an amazing taste, a lot of like the reviewers reviews have said. Um, and But it's like has more of a, the fluffiness of like whipped cream. So that's kind of what I'm going with, but then it, stands up better because of course it has to hold you know the cake wrapped around it so anyways hoping that works i was mixing and it says that it should well it's already been like five minutes and it said it should become a thick paste and i'm like okay this is never being a paste but finally now it is starting to paste up but nice and smooth still that's what i like and then just with the leftover brown i was just making little messages i already did a dan plus christy why did I let him eat? I was like, there we go, after the past hour and a half, I am finally done, here's my creation. Although I don't think he caught any, I don't think he believed me, that's all I was working on. <laughs> now this has all cooled, so I am making my hearts from here. It's not the best cookie cutter, um, if it were probably metal, not plastic, but my, I have a metal one, um, but it's, darn, I can't get anyone off that one, but, it is too big, so then it wouldn't fit. So that we'll just have to do. The cake tastes good though. And it's nice baking for Dan and me, because then I can lick my fingers and then I can still continue versus if I make it for like a teaching event or something. I can't lick my fingers because I can't, you know, spread germs. <laughs> 
while everything is cooling, I'm going to try to take a photo of the dogs. So I was trying to see what, well, I can't do it in the living room because Dan's there, uh, but for his Valentine's Day card. So I decided I'm going to go up in the bedroom, but no, just because I know that somewhere where Molly will be comfortable. Um, so I have this, actually this is Chloe's blanket, um, but hearts, and then this is our wall decor, but I'm going to put that up. And then I just got this. Um, that I'll let the dogs play with after, but um, we're gonna take photos of this. So I will let the dogs in now. We shall see how it goes. So this is where Molly lay down. Of course, not in the center. Oh, are you gonna move a little? She's like, nope. All right, that'll do, Molly. Don't worry. That's fine. I know. Oh, I can put this around you. You would not like that. Molly was feeling a little grumpy, so every time the schnauzers came near her, or even I touched her, because um, she was a bit unsure with everything, she was growly. So I took a picture just of her alone, so now we're trying to do it with the dog, with the schnauzers. And Tripsy doesn't won't come here, and Chloe sees, there we go. And Chloe just wants everything. Um, okay, but you gotta turn around. No, okay. no, no, you're gonna fall off the bed. Oh, that's so cute, though. But Trip Trip, you gotta come in the photo, too. Alright, come a little closer. No, tell you, I'm not telling you to roll over. Trip, trip, come on. She's scared of that. No, tell you, <laughs> this is not tricks. For <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you can get one because you were actually really good. But trip, trip. This is my butter and sugar mixture with some vanilla. And now I add my very odd looking milk and flour mixture. Now I wish that I had a stand mixer. I already beat this for five minutes and then I have to add that and beat it for another five minutes. Oh, I'm actually very impressed. <laughs> it's very light and fluffy and I use granulated sugar. You don't taste like the grittiness. <laughs> it's honestly very good. Wow. So that's what I'm gonna do the inside of it, but I have a little bit here that I'm gonna do to put the heart together. So I'm gonna just well, color this to be the same or a little bit closer so you don't notice the hearts. Wow. So I have the icing and just, obviously it's easier with two hands, but just doing a little bit on this and then attaching it to our heart log. <laughs> and eventually it's gonna be as long as this and fit inside. Here it is. Ooh. So I'm gonna wrap it up just to protect it like this and then put it in the freezer again so it just hardens that frosting between. I was taking a picture of this to Instagram and in the picture it looks like I did it with poop or something. Honestly. But it was supposed to be on like a on the table like this. <laughs> I've unwrapped him. It still looks good. So now. Oh dear, that's gonna crack. But I'm just gonna fill it with our icing. And then after, I'm gonna get the heart out. For the heart row. <laughs> Am I filming yet? Yeah. I've lined it all up. Um, and now we're gonna close it and turn it upside down and hopefully there's no cracks. I saw a little crack inside. <sighs> all right, let's maybe try it like this. Now I'm almost thinking my heart should have been a little smaller. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, I see a little crack there, that's okay. There we go. I'm just pushing it together. And now we're just gonna roll it onto our um, platter. So we got a little crack in here, but not that bad. Uh, for my first try making this, I think uh, it's pretty good. I could have um, filled in all these hearts a little more. But now we're going to cut it and see how it looks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that looks so cute. <laughs> now we are going to eat our dessert for dinner. And then the rest of the log we're saving for Valentine's Day tomorrow. Um, ooh, look at it. It's so nice. You want to try it? We've been trying pieces but of it, like different parts. I get the first. Oh. Would you? You can have it. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
That is really good. I really like that whipped buttercream. Oh, here. Thank you. I think if I would have, I could have made like strawberry or something, the flavoring, but strawberries, that would make it even better. But what do you think? I like it. Good, good for Valentine's Day? Mm-hmm. Thank you. What time is it? Like 6.30? It no. <laughs> took a big part of the day. But that was my big, that was what I wanted to do. I've been eating a lot of the icing and everything, so I'm a little full. All right, we should find what we don't have for dinner. Mm -hmm. For dinner, we're just having a big salad. Um, and then I have Asian sesame dressing. We'll see if we feel like anything a little bit later on, but definitely not sweets right now because I've just eaten too much icing and cake in preparation. So I'm gonna end the vlog right now because I want to upload it tonight still. Usually I only upload at like 9 a.m. or noon the following day, but I want you guys to see in case you wanna try something similar or just get ideas for Valentine's Day. It was a lot of fun to make, a lot of work, um, but it was something I've always wanted to try, doing like the uh, roll with the decoration on the outside. And actually it wasn't that hard to make. Well, it wasn't as tricky as it had seemed. It did break a little bit, but that's all right. It still, still tastes good. So I'll leave the two recipes for the cake as well as the buttercream um, below. So if you guys are interested, you can check it out. I definitely recommend that buttercream. I will be using that um, in other recipes, like if I had to make frosting on cupcakes and stuff too. So that's fantastic. So definitely try that one. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on Wednesday with What I Ate Wednesday. Bye.